Looking ahead to the moon and Mars, NASA selected the latest members of the astronaut corps yesterday. Chosen from a field of 12,000 candidates, NASA selected six men and four women, half of whom are military pilots, among others are a doctor, a physicist, and a cyclist. Joining me on the morning show, one of the candidates who is among the chosen few, a Florida native, a man who calls Central Florida home, and a graduate of the University of North Florida, right here in Jacksonville, Luke Delaney. Luke, congratulations. Thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, thank you so much. Happy to be here. Well, tell me about this. So you get the news. What's the first thing going through your mind? Uh, unbelievable. I think a little bit of disbelief. Uh, still hasn't fully registered yet. Uh, going through the processes here is making it a little more real, but uh, truly excited for the training and, and missions that lie ahead. I would imagine. So tell me, you're a distinguished naval aviator, military test pilot. Now you face two years of training and may travel to the moon. So what's your biggest personal challenge? Uh, you know, I hope to just build on my experiences from military, uh, all the different high performance teams I've been fortunate to be a part of. Uh, looking forward to extending those experiences out to Artemis and Moon and beyond. So uh, the challenges lie ahead and uh, the group that we selected is so diverse, we're ready to take them on. They are challenges, just to say the least. So the land, the last manned moon mission was Apollo 17 back in 1972. There have been budgetary, political hurdles for scientific and technical reasons. Is it about time? Well, you know, I, what I've seen in the recent history here is just an extreme ramp up of operations. I, I think the industry and NASA partnerships have just totally taken off. Um, we're looking at just a litany of aircraft and missions and everybody, I think, on the Space Coast and in the Florida area is really excited as well. So plans to land on the moon have been pushed back a few years. Given hurdles in the past, partnerships being developed, public and private, is that new timeline or is it realistic, do you think? Uh, you know, I hope so. I, I, I'm really excited. Uh, things uh, always take a little bit of time when you're doing something that's never been done before. but. You got a strong NASA team backing you up and, and the new NASA astronaut candidates. I know we're going to train hard to do whatever comes our way. Uh, we got a real adaptable crew here. Okay, I want to ask you another personal question. You and your wife, Tracy, you have two daughters. So when they hear the news that you're becoming an astronaut, what's their reaction? Uh, you know, surprisingly, really supportive. I thought they might have some reservations, but NASA's always been my dream and they've kind of taken that dream on as well. So really support a family network and I couldn't be more appreciative. Just really grateful to have them. And so training for this type of thing, are you ready? I like, I, I don't know how you would ever train for this. You've been doing it for so long now. I mean, are there jitters at all about the concept of going maybe to the moon? Uh, I think a little bit of nervousness is, is what you want, but the, the training from the military side, and I know the NASA training that lies ahead is gonna fully prepare us for what we're gonna encounter. Um, you're picking from a diverse group with all kinds of perspectives, and that's going to get the mission done. Luke Delaney, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations. We will be watching closely as we get closer. Thanks again for joining us this morning. Thank you.